Hey everyone. Welcome to Gentle PSD. Today in this beautiful day we will be learning about how to create motion writing effect in After Effects. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome right? Before we begin make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new composition. Width is 1920 and the height is 1080. 25 frames per second. 10 second duration. I will name this as writing effect. Now take the text tool here and type in the name you want, I will type in our channel name. Place the text in the center. Make sure the anchor point is also in the center. I will use a font called brush script. Hold alt and use the scroll to zoom in. Create a new adjustment layer and place it below our text layer like this. I will name it as pen trace. Take the pen tool from here and make sure the adjustment layer is selected. Now we will trace our text like this. I want you to know that the starting point of the animation will be the point where you started tracing your text. Our animation will follow this pen path, so make sure you trace it with that in mind. Once you've finished creating path for the first text, select this empty space to cut the path. And again select the adjustment layer, and start creating path for the rest of the text. I want the animation of the text E, to start from the top, after it finish the G. So I will start making path from the top like this. Keep repeating this steps, until you created the path for all the letters. Select the empty space and again select the adjustment layer then continue making the path. Now we finally finished creating the pen path for all the letters. Go to the effects and presets panel and type and stroke. Drag the stroke effect and place it on the adjustment layer like this. In the effects and control panel, change the stroke color to white. Make sure you select this all mask checkbox like this. Increase the stroke size to 20. If you look closely our stroke is spread larger than the text. That's what we want. Make sure the stroke is larger than the letters. The letters must be inside of the stroke. Adjust the stroke. 
if it not covered any edges like this. Drag it like this. Once you've finished adjusting the stroke, we can now start animating our letters. In the adjustment layer change the track mat to alpha mat. Go to stroke effects and keyframe the end point change it to zero. Take the time indicator to 4 second. And change the end point to 100%. Now let's play it and see the magic. That looks super cool. Now we created that writing effect. Highlight both layers and pre-compose it. I will name it as Gentle PSD. Double click on the pre-compose layer and select the adjustment layer. In the effects and control panel change the color of stroke to black. Go to the main comp and now we will import our stock photo. By dragging it to the timeline like this. Place the stock photo below our main layer. Decrease its size to fit in the composition like this. Now select the main layer and press S on your keyboard to bring the scale. Reduce its size like this and place it in the center. If I play it. That looks good. To give it more dynamic look, we will enable 3D on our main layer, by clicking this box icon. Now go to the orientation effect and tilt the text to match with the stock photo like this. That looks perfect. Select the both layer and pre-compose it again. I will name it as Final Comp. Now right click and create a new camera. Make sure the camera is 35mm. I will name it as 35mm camera. Click OK. Take the time indicator to 1 second. Enable 3D option on this layer too. Select the camera layer, and go to the transform effect. Keyframe the position, and take the indicator to 4 second. And zoom in like this using the position. It will create keyframe automatically, if I play it. That looks super awesome. You can drag the last keyframe to 5 seconds to give it more depth. We finally finished creating our motion writing effect. If you have any doubts feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Please hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this, and hit the like button, if you enjoyed this tutorial. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.